estimation of rainfall thresholds by empirical methods so, landslides landslides is the downward movement of soil or rock under the influence of gravity so, in many years landslides are going to happen in several areas in several times so we are going to reduce the landslides the, ma the main cause causes for the landslides is the rainfall so we have to find the uh, rainfall intensity to that area so currently our doing project in uh, west bengal region so our abstract is that uh, to determine the rainfall thresholds means threshold is nothing but intensity duration intensity duration so for this we have to um, to determine the rainfall thresholds we used winbox software namely bayesian inference method so bayesian inference method within that we used uh, winbox software so for that the equation of the equation of the um, uh, threshold rainfall thresholds is i equals to alpha into d power minus beta where alpha is the slope intercept and beta is the slope d is the duration of the rainfall and i is the mean intensity so our main aim is that to determine the mean rainfall intensity to predict the landslides so the object of the study is that to identify the estimation of rainfall thresholds by empirical methods and to access the critical areas and impact of landslide disaster and to suggest necessary measures to mitigate disasters and to determine the rainfall mean intensity using the winbox software and the introduction is that in indian himalaya is many um, in many years there are uh, landslides are going to occurring at landslides are one of the natural hazards that affect at least 15% of the indian exceed, uh, exceeding 0.49 million square kilometer so about 100 15% of land is uh, landslides are going to be happen so this is the introduction the literature review so we'll go through causes of landslides the main cause of the landslide is the rainfall and also earthquake so we have taken rainfall and unstable geological structure also one of the means it is uh, where the uh, structures are going to be unstable and the mo main uh, possible to occur the landslides and also the expansion of settlements and demand for firewood and mining nowadays mining is uh, one of the uh, major issue in india so for this due to rainfall where mining is happened that uh, that area landslides are easy easily occurring means it is first preference so landslide causing factors you can see agricultural 6.5 and grazing 5 declining forest road construction excessive rain and seismicity in here rain due to rain the landslides are one of the major issue for landslides so we have to focus on the rainfall to control the landslides heavy rainfall landslides in Dar darjeeling we have taken the data from 1980 1899 to 2015 yeah. <clears throat> in 1899 uh, at least 11000 mm of rainfall in day, approximately 11000 mm will be happened in that area <clears throat> this is the average rainfall we have collected the data from uh, uttar range range office upper tista range office upper tista range office this is the cumulative annual rainfall for the period 2008 to 2012 effects landslides cause property damage injury and death and uh, effect a variety of resources the, neg the negative economic effects of landslide include the cost to repair structures loss of property value and landslide due to heavy rainfall this is the landslide heavy rainfall so landslide due to antecedent rainfall three souls so methodology what are the method methodologies we are using for prediction of landslides 
methods for the objective and definition of rainfall thresholds. It's a literature review we are taken from Gazeti. Is it 2008 and 2000, uh, 2008 one? Is I, I equal to alpha into d power of minus beta? The sample power of lives. I is a rainfall main intensity and D is the duration of rainfall event in hours and alpha is a scaling constant. The Bayes and inference method that is the Winbox software. In the Gazette is it 2007 we first purpose Bayes inference method. This is the formula for finding value of P U is a rainfall intensity and duration thresholds. This is a rainfall data we are taken from randomly in uh, Indian re regions is like uh, Himalayas. This is a Winbox software functions. ABS means uh, Mari. The result of the programs is a n is the number of uh, intensity. I is the is the number of intensity durations. We are taken from random values. This is a result of the uh, Winbox software shape functions. So A is alpha, B is the beta. Alpha is a 49 pencil, is the average value of uh, rainfall intensity. This is a calculation. So I is the mean intensity, is the alpha into. So, uh, I equal to alpha into d power of minus beta. This is a formula, this is the average intensity uh, for one day, 24 hours. So, 40. This is rainfall intensity duration. So, two days for 40.8 uh, intensity will occurring in landslide. In four days, 39.36. Three days, 39.6. Like this, we are calculating from. Uh, this is the we got the result average mean intensity. Uh, if the rainfall exceeds 40.8 mm in two days, the landslides are going to be happen. If the land landslides, if the rainfall is going to be 39.36 mm, it if exceeds, then within four days the landslides are going to be happen. So that we have collected the um, we have concluded that that calculation. So conclusion, it is found that rainfall events of shorter duration up to 24 hours with a rainfall intensity of 1.77 mm per hour can trigger the landslides and longer duration up to 6 days with a rainfall intensity of 0.27 mm because in this 6 days 0.27 mm will be in different region and one day 24 hours of 1.77 mm per hour is the different region so that uh, the intensity may vary. So we have exploited to determine the rainfall intensity duration threshold for the possible occurrence of landslides. To establish thresholds, we experimented the statistical approach, namely Bayesian approach. That's it. These are the references we have got. Thank you.